Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another great day for some lovely TA. I hope everyone out there is doing amazing. I hope you guys had a great weekend. In this episode, I'll be giving you guys two bearish things that, you know, the bears are going to love to hear. The bulls, not so much. But I believe you guys should always take in both sides of the analysis. But today is going to be mainly a bearish video. So without any further ado, I will be giving you guys my analysis on a weekly time frame. We'll be looking at the daily time frame as well. And maybe we'll glance at the four hour because why not, right? But we'll be mainly focusing on multiple time frames. So let me remind you, if you guys enjoy my content, make sure you smash the subscribe button and you destroy the like button. So without any further ado, let's begin. The key thing I want to point out for Bitcoin is this green line right here, which is our 55 weekly EMA. It has acted as support for over eight to nine weeks. And last week or last night, roughly 14 15 hours ago we closed underneath that green line that is not a good sign because again once I what I do on this channel is I just show you guys levels that have access support or resistance and see if they flip okay when you have a support right it wicked up wicked up close above it wicked up wicked up wicked up four different times it is wicked above here and an access support when you have the support becoming a resistance level that is quite bearish okay and how do we test if it's a resistance level that's right if we had this week going above this level or trying to hit it but we get rejected that will confirm it as a resistance level okay we don't want to see that happen if you are a bull you want to see support levels being respected but here's a key takeaway how many how many times can you use a support level before it becomes a resistance right there's no magic number for it it's just we just have to see where the price action takes us right so price action is king so again biggest takeaway from the weekly time frame chart is we have broken market structure we have broken our support level and the big thing it, there's still time to redeem yourself and say yes we're getting close above it it was a fake breakout a fake out or if you want to call it right so yes Bitcoin hypothetically can try to get get above right the thirty two thousand five hundred dollar level if it does that great we can see that but you know there's always a risk of it rolling over and it's not as cut as dry and says just because we have one week of closure above that this was a fake out right so we'll see on that so let me take you guys on the daily time frame because there's a second thing I want to show you that is quite bearish okay so just zooming in a little bit, we'll see that this descending triangle that I had to redraw because, you know, this fake out here, it got us, right? Um, what we want to notice is this base base of the triangle, which is about 31,400. This has acted as, again, it has acted as support for many, many, many days, about two months worth, right? We have a week here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12, ton, 12 days where it has wicked underneath of it and pulled back up. Now, here's a million dollar question. Today, we are currently underneath of it, but we have about eight hours and 30 minutes until the daily close. Can the price wick above and close above 31,400 today, right? Find out in about eight hours and 30 minutes. I don't think it's likely just because of how many times we have used it as support and we are threatening to lose this support level just like on a weekly time frame the 55 let me just show you again uh, so we can make some comparisons just because you know we broken we broke the structure it doesn't mean that today we have to close underneath of it it's just saying that's just another sign of weakness right we lost our support level right here the, the 55 weekly ema we lost it last week we closed underneath of it that is quite bearish so let's just go into daily time frame again and let, let me just zoom in so we can all see yes we are 100 percent underneath of it right now but we do not have a confirmed daily closure and i would be more inclined again i would like to see multiple daily closures i would even like us to see this little wait let me i had this little drawing here let me delete it if the price comes up and tests it right and it even gets a little bit above it and we like roll over and this again this is a daily time frame so maybe like two three four five days out whatever right if we get above this level and we just roll over that's very much another sign i would say okay we lost the support level and we're we're fucked right we're fucked <laughs> if you're if you're a bull you're fucked if you're a bear you're happy because you're like yeah i was right right um 
And again, I do want to remind you, I am looking for a capitulation move. Just like we'll, we'll go back to 2018 and look because I'm still on a daily time frame. Again, it's not looking too good because we are underneath of it, but Bitcoin still has time to redeem itself. So let's go look at a four hour degen time frame a little bit. And I know some guys are laughing like, how is a four hour degen time frame? Right? So we see, and again, I'm this isn't some voodoo magic. Let me just turn the volume uh, one off so you guys can see. Volume is not too important right now. Alright, as you guys can see, so this is the four hour candle, right? I want to show you guys on this four hour candle, we hit. Again, we hit about 30, um, 31,400 and then we dropped out of it and now we're at this point, okay? So, already on a 4 hour time frame, we can see it acting as resistance. But again, it's a 4 hour time frame, don't put too much weight on it. What would be, again, let me just remind you, what would be very bearish is if we get the price above here, it just goes sideways and then just rolls over and crashes, Not okay, not really crashes, but heads towards $30,000, that would say, okay, two facts. We lost our support level of the base of this triangle. We lost the support level about 31,400. The second fact is, again, bears would be in control and we would be testing, right, the $30,000 level even more, right? So, so far we've only tested about three times. That's not too bad. So, again, let me remind you, I am anticipating a big capitulation move. And you guys, what is that? What exactly is capitulation? If you Google it, it's pretty much like when people give up. And why, why is that important? Well. When people give up, that's when you want to buy, right? That's when you want to buy. If you are, again, let me remind you, if you're long-term bullish on Bitcoin, like, you know, five years out, four years out, whatever your magical number is, right? And again, I am expecting a big capitulation move that looks similar like this. I'm not saying it has to drop by exactly 51%. It might only drop 30, 40, maybe 25%. I don't know. I'm just looking for a big enough move where people says, I give up. Bitcoin's a scam, whatever. Like they're out of the market. Okay, that's what we want to see because there are some people have that have only known Bitcoin to go up and up and up. Like if you buy Bitcoin, it can only go up, right? We want those people out of the fucking market, right? And again, I'm not here to like dog on anyone on Discord or like make fun of them. I'm just saying, look at how many weeks we went up only, right? We need to we need to cleanse the market of <laughs> of all the bulls. Now, I'm not saying I hate bulls, I hate bears. Um, I'm just saying there's always that there's always needs to be a balance right if if the balance is What <laughs> leaning towards one side? It's not a good thing. So again, I'm not heavily bearish. I'm not heavily bullish I'm more of neutral man. You could say yeah, I'm kind of like a crab all the time But guys, that's all I have for my analysis today. I hope you guys enjoyed it I, ho I hope you guys got something out of it. So let me remind you to help support the channel Make sure you sub right you hit smash the subscribe button hit the like button that's all I ask. All right, so I will catch you guys on the next one, and we'll most likely be looking at Ethereum because <laughs> I'm not going to give it away, but Ethereum doesn't look too good either. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.